Hi everyone, my name is Sandra. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is featuring Jeffree Star's Deceased palette. So yes, it's a, a lot of drama behind that palette, a lot of controversy. We're not going to talk about that because guess what? My channel is only about the makeup. I don't really um, talk about the gossip or the controversy or any of that stuff. So whatever, that's that. <laughs> Um, but if you'd like to see how I got to today's look, please keep on watching. So this is the palette we're working with today and I have to say that the, these colors are just so gorgeous. Um, you can see I've used this already because I had already filmed a makeup look and I am so angry with myself. I don't know why I did this. It was a complete accident. I didn't do it on purpose. But I had filmed a look and I had deleted it. It was already on my computer ready to edit and it just went kapoosh, goodbye. Um, off of like my master everything it wasn't an iMovie nothing so I couldn't recover the file and I was so mad at myself so here we're filming it again so this time I have done my makeup on my face um, I will try to leave everything down below in case you are curious but it's kind of the stuff I always use but I will leave it down below just in case so I'm going to start with an E35 by Sigma Sigma is a my favorite brush and I'm going to go in with Last Respects. So this might be a little bit light for my eye, but I want something that is a little bit more warm toned of a gray as a transition. So I probably won't be doing the same look that I had before. Um, I definitely want some lashes this time. I figured if I'm going to be doing my makeup, I'm going to be going all out. <laughs> I actually haven't filmed my makeup in probably over two weeks now, um, unless you count my Red Deer vlog, which um, I did quick makeup routine in there, but I was just using some colored liner, so it wasn't like a full on colored eyeshadow look. So I could totally see how you could pull off like a really beautiful smoky eye, but I don't think I want to do like smoky right now. I want to do like um, nice and and a little bit dramatic, just not like completely smoky. So the next color I'm going to go in with is the Morgue, which is the darker shade here. I'm going to use an E25 for that one. Just to put it, concentrate kind of at the outer corner here. Still in the crease, but kind of staying towards the outside. I think because my skin tone is like so warm and yellow and olive toned, these shades are going to look cooler on me no matter what. So I was going to go in with that first brush we used and blend out this shade, but I think, um, I think I can just use this brush to blend. So because my eyes are so deep set, I do like to bring up the shadow a little bit more like higher than you would normally bring it up but it, and and actually like these shadows are taking nothing to blend like it's so easy to blend them out i think that looks really nice so now i'm going to take a pencil brush i'm going to run the more along my lower lash line as well And now I want to go into Mausoleum, which is a sparkly shade right here. So I'm going to try using it on my finger first and just tap it on the inner corner and the lid. All right, you guys, that shade is so pretty. I don't think I've used this one yet. I almost feel like this one is like a golden shade compared to like the crease color, which is like completely gray. It's like the gold, most golden shade in this palette, other than Afterlife, which is like right here. It's kind of like a pink color. Hmm. Okay. So next on my, my finger, I'm going to use Last Look to blend in the darker with that lighter mausoleum shade. Put that kind of on the outer corner. And then I'm going to take my pencil brush, wet it a little bit with some Fix Plus. And I'm going to go into last look as well. And put that on my lower lashes. And I think I'm just going to stick to the middle with this one. I 
And then I'm gonna take mausoleum and put some of that on the inner corner. Oh, that's almost like too gray for the inner corner. Okay, stick to afterlife on the inner corner. Oh, that's bright. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with something a bit deeper in the outer crease. I will use my E25 again. I want to go in with Inheritance, which is right here. It almost looks like it's got like shades of green in it. I'm just going to dab this on to see how dark it actually is. I'm kind of stamping it on that outer corner area. And I'm just going to stamp to blend, I think. And I am getting some fallout. So I will gently brush that away. I'm taking the first brush I use and just gently blending around that shadow on the outside corner here. And now I'm going to line my upper lash line. So I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. This is Longwear Liquid Eyeliner because I'm black. And just make a fairly thick line on the upper lash line so I can disguise my lashes when I apply them. Okay, so next I'm going to put on some lashes. Actually, I feel like my waterline needs something. Maybe I will line my waterline with a black liner. I'm going to use, oh, well, this is something, okay, Lottie London AM to PM in black. Okay, I'm going to use these lashes, Malibu by Morphe. I don't think I've used these, or maybe I did one point, but they're, these ones are new. We will put these lashes on, and I will be right back. The mascara that I'll use beforehand is the Maybelline Total Temptation. I've been using that forever, and I love it. We'll be right back. Okay, so lashes are applied, and they're looking pretty good. The last step is lip gloss. So I'm using this Milani Keep It Full Plumping Lip Gloss. This is the shade 02 Nude Shimmer. Be perfect for a nude look like this. And I did use the Too Faced Plumping Lip or lip Gloss, whatever, lip plumping lip um, injection, I guess it's called, beforehand. So I didn't line my lips or anything. They're looking a little red because of the uh, Too Faced injection stuff, but um, that's okay. We're not going anywhere. We're just doing our makeup today. So that is it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was very short. Usually I do like my full face, but I thought it would be different just to do my eyes. And I'm really liking the palette so far. Um, I think I would use it more in conjunction with other palettes or if I wanted a smoky eye because even now, even though I didn't want to do like a huge dark smoky eye, I mean, I do have dark eyes, so it doesn't <laughs> help that situation, but um, it still looks pretty smoky and pretty dark. So, I mean, this palette is perfect for like a New Year's party, like perfect for that. So, um, but anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, please subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you. And don't forget to click the bell button so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. That is a lot to say. We will talk to you guys soon. Bye now.